Biggie, a rapper from Mississippi named Notorious B. Wayne, he claims that Biggie, he stole his song and his name from him. He made a song called Big Daddy that came out in 1993. And the song came out before Juicy. And he said that Biggie stole the song in the concept and he made Juicy. What you think about that, yo? Do you believe Biggie stole his name and song? I don't think Big stole his name because in 91, Big was known as Biggie Smalls. You understand what I'm saying? And then they got sued, which stopped him from using Biggie Smalls because they found out somebody else had that name. You know, so I don't think Big stole his name. You understand? So I, I think that's far fetched. It's probably was a, 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 a hundred big fat month. I mean, big dudes. I mean, big guys that was calling themselves Big This, Big That. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't think he stole his name. I think he's wrong by that. Yo, you right, Biggie. He was using the name Notorious before 1993. I think he started using it in 1991. But what you think about the song, though? Do you think he stole the song from him? No, I don't, I don't, I don't even think he stole the song and the concept. And I'm going to tell you why. Most artists, when they get tracks and everything, it comes from producers and people who makes the tracks, the people who produce the music. Now... Somebody may have led him to flow, but Big was, Big was so fucking arrogant. He's not going to listen to somebody else's music and then try to rap like them. You understand what I'm saying? The only time I haven't seen him do that when he did Bone Thugs and Harmony. And he said, watch how I flip they shit on them. And he wouldn't even do it in the studio with them. I was there in California when that went down. So Big was so fucking arrogant that he wasn't going to take somebody else's sound and their music, you understand, to listen to it and say, yo, let me do it this way. Now, if you look at that track, Pete Rock, remember Pete Rock from CL Smooth, Pete Rock and CL Smooth? Back in 2003, three, four, he said that he did that track. You understand? He said, he, it's an article came out way before when Pete Rock, I didn't know Pete Rock had something to do with it because I thought Trackmasters did it. Tone and Pope. You understand what I'm saying? So now, but Pete Rock said he was the one who first did it. He had did it for himself. Then they had a little disagreement and Trackmasters say, no, they the one who did it because Puff came to them and said, yo, that Juicy Beat would be a good song to remix and do. You understand what I'm saying? So now, if you know this to be true, and I said this before a long time ago, is that kids and people were sending their tracks and their songs into these labels. And I think Suge Knight even said the same shit. And they would jack their shit. So, did... Puff lead track master down that road and say, yo, use this beat. You understand what I'm saying? Or use this sound, make it sound like this. I don't know that to be true, but I don't put it past them. So you got to look at the history of all that. Now, why did this shit come out now? Why, when that shit was making millions of dollars and it was heating up and everything, do they come out and say, yo, they stole my shit from me. Don't you wonder? I look at it like this. Now we got streaming. Look how many motherfuckers since that song came out, they went back and listened to his song. Right? They gonna go back and listen to his song. That shit gonna stream about 200, probably 100 million Cause people gonna say, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna go back and listen to it and listen to it. And then try to match it and say, oh shit, Big was felonious when he did that. But if you knew Big, he was too fucking arrogant to do anything like that, bro. So I don't believe in no way, form or fashion that he had anything to do with the still another track or the way the flow and the beat went. That's up to the producers. You just gonna rap. They might tell you how to rap or how to make a sound or whatever. But remember, 
That's my opinion. Right. Well, he did say that um his song did come out first. He said um his song and album came out before Juicy and all that. And he did make a comment in a, um a statement that he made in 2012. Um, when he uploaded the song on Dat Pilf, he said that um he tried to say something back then, but people wasn't listening to him. Then once Biggie passed away, he chilled out because you know Biggie passed. So, but Big Big passed in '97. I'd have been on that shit in '98. <laughs> what what happened to '98, '99, 2000, 2001, 2002? Come on, bruh. Now I'm not I'm not taking nothing from dude. And it could be true because those record labels was doing those kids like that. And it's crazy. But you gotta look at it. Bruh, you passed up a lot of motherfucking lawsuit money. Yo, shit was like funny, and then and then when Big say down the Mississippi up to the East Coast, now you look at shit like that, be like, yo, wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> but it's 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 far fetched that Big would ever. He was just too arrogant, bro. Big, big, big was big, big, you know what I'm saying? Even though he be looking at you this with this eye over here and that eye over there. <laughs> he, he, he didn't give a fuck, bro. I I I I could never see Big stealing somebody else's flow or style. Or anything like that. No, not at all. Now, what he did do, and I, I said this before, you know, with the help of Pac and on them, he got that big popper shit on and popping. You understand? That gangster shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They they stole Pac format. Talk about the hoes, the clothes. You understand? And how much dough you got? 